Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Haley Yates. I am a licensing manager on the TOY team, which I'll get a little bit into what that means. But I'm originally from Metuchen, New Jersey, um, and studied marketing at James Madison University in Virginia, so not too far from American. Um, and I, a little bit different story about getting into consumer products. I grew up in a household with it. Um, my mom worked in the industry for many, many years, and I was always around it and thought it was interesting because it's really cool when your mom works in toys and you're playing with them. But um, I never really foresaw myself getting into it. Um, but in terms of my career, I interned, I had three internships without throughout my um, college experience. First was with Franco Manufacturing, who's actually one of our current home uh, partners. They develop bedding and towels and beach toys. Um, and then I interned with Skip Hop, who is an infant baby and kind of mom caregiver uh, brand. They do diaper bags. They do really, really cute backpacks that I'm sure you've seen on the street um, of different animal characters. And then I landed my internship at Viacom CBS. So I loved it. I absolutely knew I wanted to come back after graduation. But of course, a position, you know, wasn't always guaranteed. So I stayed super in touch with the team um, because I had such a great experience and knew I wanted to get back. And fortunately, they had an opening for a co coordinator role on the toy team um, in spring. So I started uh, two weeks after graduation, uh, which at the time uh, wasn't people were like, oh, my gosh, that's so soon. But, you know, I knew what I was getting into. I knew it's what I wanted to do. Um, so I hit the ground running. I've been uh, at the company for almost three years now, um, and I was just promoted to a manager role last fall, um, which is super exciting because now I have my own partners and accounts that I manage and categories within the toy um, team, which is great. So categories like games and puzzles where we work with, you know, industry leaders like Spin Master and Hasbro um, and construction toys where we meet with Lego and Mega Blocks, which I'm sure are brands that you guys are aware of. Um, so that's a little bit about my career, and I'll dive into kind of what um, we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So I love this slide. I can't take credit for creating it, but I think it does a really great way at explaining how our team is structured. So I'm a part of the toy team, which is one of the lines of business that handles licensing. Um, and then you'll hear from other folks from the creative side of things and franchise planning and consumer insights. Um, and at the heart of everything we do is our IP and our brand. So we have to make sure that we're kind of putting that at the forefront um, of all the deals we make and conversations that we have and, and toys we develop. Um, so I think this is a really great way of kind of showing how everyone in consumer products works together. So in terms of top line business licensing, uh, this is definitely super top line, but I think it, it does a way, a good way of showing you guys the overall process. So we start off at pitch phase, um, typically for various reasons. Uh, the one I'm going to talk about today is Blue's Clues and You, um, which is a sh series and a beloved preschool IP that we brought back uh, recently. So we say, hey, we have this new IP, you know, let's pitch it out to external toy partners. Then we negotiate and sign deals with these partners. Um, and then we work closely with them on the product and packaging development because we need to make sure our IP looks amazing on shelf. Um, and then we work with the retail sales and development teams to then sell these product lines into retailers like Walmart, Target, Kohl's, etc. Then, of course, there has to be a thought out marketing plan behind everything that we do. So um, you know, whether it be Amazon storefront, take a look, see how that kind of is structured or social media and influencer campaigns, um, TV commercials. I'm sure you guys can remember some of your favorite toy TV commercials from back in the day. Um, and then we evaluate the overall partnership and then discuss potentially renewing that partner. So that, uh, this whole process is probably over the course of two to three years. Uh, it definitely doesn't happen overnight. Most toys in, uh, take uh, over a year to develop manufacture, bring over, uh, get on shelf. So it's it's definitely a long process, but it allows us to be thorough and make sure, um, you know, everything looks uh, perfect for the consumers. So in terms of the pitch phase, this is, like I said, when we kind of build out our toy strategy, because the toy strategy can be different from an apparel strategy or a, you know, gaming strategy. So 
We build out our toy specific strategy, determine key partners to pitch to like a Hasbro or a Mattel. We engage our global franchise team and creative teams and consumer insights. And we, we pull together a really kick-ass pitch. Um, and then we bring this opportunity to partners. So we will then pitch the opportunity to these partners and then they will come back uh, with a proposal for the business. So once we kind of decide who we want to work with, uh, we move into the negotiation um, side of things. So in terms of a licensing deal, um, there's tons of elements to these contracts. So some of you people studying legal might be interested in this side of things. But essentially, since we're the IP holder, the deal is done with us um, and we license out you know, properties. So it'll say what they have rights to, in this example, Blue's Clues, um, what products they can do. So whether it be plush or um, board games or puzzles, it'll, it'll specifically list which items they're able to develop, um, the length of the term. So typically we like to do about two year deals because this allows us to have time to develop and build the partnership. But something like a 10 year deal would be really difficult to do since you guys didn't know the landscape's ever changing and IP is changing. So two years is typically our sweet spot. The royalty rate. So that's where Viacom um, makes the money. That's where we get a percentage of all the sales since we are the IP holder. Um, that's super crucial and one of the more highly negotiated aspects of the contract. Um, a minimum guarantee. So this is a minimum financial compensation that Viacom gets regardless of performance. It's kind of like um, guaranteed money, but we always want to make sure, you know, it's within reach of what we're doing. We never want to have these crazy MGs that partners, you know, couldn't earn out on. So that's something else that's, that's pretty highly negotiated. Um, channels of distro that they're able to sell the toys into. So, for example, a mass market retailer would be Walmart and Target. Um, a department store would be Nordstrom. So we list out where they're able to sell our products. And we strategically um, will either include channels or disclude them, depending on where that partner has expertise. And then we'll include a marketing commitment, typically, for some of the bigger deals, especially with master toy partners um, who are doing a lot. So a percentage of the sales will have to go towards marketing efforts and we'll work with them to ensure kind of what that marketing plan can look like and then where our internal marketing teams can help amplify. Product and packaging development is one of my favorite aspects because it allows us to be creative and really take a 2D concept as you can see here into a 3D object on shelf. Um, so a lot goes into these toys, uh, more than you'd probably think. Um, our, routine, our team reviews every single element since we are the IP holder. We have to make sure, you know, SpongeBob is the right yellow and he looks correct. So uh, a lot goes into this, um, but we meet with our partners regularly. We get pre-production samples to review how the toy will look before they go into production. So it's definitely an in-depth in process and something we lean on our creative team a lot for. And then once the toys are ready to go, we work closely with our retail and marketing teams to make sure they come to live on shelf um, and also on .com nowadays. Um, but essentially, you know, we'll work closely and have, you know, top to top meetings with Walmart and Target and pull together these retail programs to make sure, you know, an IP like Blue looks killer on shelf, which in these examples, you know, she really does. And then, you know, once we're coming to, you know, nine, six months to the end of, you know, the contract terms, we will kind of analyze how things went, you know, how was the partnership? How did the toys perform? How were the sales? Did we earn out on our MG or was there, you know, a, a big shortfall for various reasons? We'll look to Shelly's team sort of consumer insights and say, you know, how did Blue perform compared to other preschool IP? We'll analyze a competitive landscape to say, you know, what else is gonna be on shelf next year? Um, we'll discuss the future of the franchise. So is, you know, a season three greenlit? Are there any other content in development? Things like that. And then, you know, we're kind of at a crossroads where we'll determine if we're going to end the partnership for various reasons or renew and then renegotiate and start all over. So it's definitely an ongoing process. And at, at once we're working with multiple partners. I think I manage over 30 at this point. So it's definitely, you know, important to stay on, on top and, and organized, but it definitely keeps you on your toes. And it is super fun because you can go from a meeting about Top Gun to a meeting about Blue's Clues or Paw Patrol. So um, it's it's really fun. And the, the, the consumers are different of those toys and a lot goes into development, which, you know, 
consumers don't always realize. So um, it's, it's a great process. And that's everything in a nutshell in about five minutes. <laughs> Uh, when you are analyze the sales performers, do you recruit our team or you have your team and teammate play um, do the analyze part with you? Yeah. So what's great is you're going to hear from Shelly, who's a part of our consumer insights team um, that we have in house. And I'm sure she'll go into this further, but there's also industry resources that, you know, Viacom pays for that we have access to, uh, one of which is MPD. So we'll get data from them in terms of toy sales. Uh, and we get it pretty regularly. Uh, and I'm always quick to look, what are the top 10 toys? Are we in the top 10? Um, it's super rewarding to see your products there. And especially when launching a new IP, we need to track kind of where we line up um, with someone like a Paw Patrol, who has been you know, the number one preschool IP for some time. So it's a combination of both, but we're super lucky to have access to an internal team that could help us analyze the data further.